So, as you can see, for the Shinivel Alpha Veil, I'm at 89%. So, I've, I've done quite a bit of exploration when it comes to this part here. And I came across some interesting developments. Alright, well, let's get to it. Wait, and get behind me. I'll handle this. Okay, well, um. Come on. You're open. Fry. Fry. Off with you. Me. Let me see how it's how he's built. Well, built, rather. Mm. What's that weapon? A blacklist slasher. Okay. After the 50 on opponent detect is increased by 12%. Alright. This is not fast. Brave set, brave heart, right? Constellations, C3, that's for the stallions, bestial descent, 7. Another test subject. <laughs> Many happy returns. Test subject. <laughs> I sure did. Hmm. Seems like we really can't go anywhere without running into treasure hoarders, can we? Yeah, seems like it. Yeah, it's not uncommon for deliveries to get intercepted. That's why this job needs guards like us. <laughs> I know I was impressed by your moves back there. You seem like a real pro at your job. Yeah, he is. Oh, <laughs> that's not a skill I learned on the job. It's just a hobby. Have you ever heard of wushou dancing? Um, I've heard about it somewhere. Really? Wushou dancing is famous in Chenyu Vale. Performers might be invited to promote the opening of a business or to spread good fortune during a holiday season. <laughs> but I must admit, it has nothing on the popularity of the Li Yue Opera. With a. Uh... Yunjin? I'm also well aware that people in Liyue Harbor aren't exactly jumping at the chance to watch Wushou dancing. So, it's not something I do full-time. Mm. Huh? You have two jobs? How do you have the energy to do all that? <laughs> it's not that tiring. You just have to take a rest. <laughs> ah, Paimon gets it, so you must sleep a lot. <laughs> nope. Quite the opposite. Not really. Just yesterday, I stayed up all night playing cards. Oh. Uh. Let's go. The docks are just up ahead. <laughs> what 
a boy gaming. Let's play games. Ganning walks forward and exchanges a few words with boatmen near the docks. Next thing you know, he's told for everyone to board a bamboo raft. Finally, we can rest. Ooh, Paimon's shoulders are so stiff, and her stomach so empty. Aww, oh Paimon. Sorry, sorry. Did I push the pace a bit too much? I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. <laughs> yeah, we are. But Would you like some winter melon cake? I have some on me that I bought from a store. Yes, Paimon will take all you got. <laughs> uh, you might want to pace yourself there, or you'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. Yeah. yeah. Paimon never gets too full. Just like... Oh, just like you apparently never get tired, no matter how far you walk or how many jobs you work. Ah, I see. Then here you go, Paimon. And for you, Traveler. Enjoy. What is it? And here's some for you too, Uncle Bosu. Don't think I forgot about you, my friend. I'll just set it to the side here for you. Gan seems like a real people person. If you get along with everyone and treats every person that he meets, he meets like a close friend. <sighs> that hit the spot. Paimon thought she was going to starve to death for a minute there. <laughs> that close of a call, huh? Yeah. <sighs> I've been eating winter melon cake ever since I was a kid. Winter melon cake? You can buy cake. them from all sorts of places. Whether it's a small vendor on the side of the road, or a big restaurant in the city. But each place produces cakes with a slightly different flavor. If you like these ones, I can give you the address of the shop I bought them from. I'll just have to check when we get back. Alright. <laughs> oh, oh, all my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace, huh? Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? Really, I won't be offended. <laughs> it's okay. Paimon is kind of enjoying listening to your chitter chatter. <laughs> yeah, that's how you don't talk. A fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh? <laughs> hey, Paimon can be in a good mood anytime she wants. There she goes. <laughs> you slowly ease yourself in the beauty of the surrounding scenery, for you know it, you are greeted by the sight of Yilong Wharf. Seriously. Don't forget your things, and uh, watch your step as you get off the raft, or you're in for a swim. Oh. Thanks for the ride, Uncle Bosu. You take care of yourself now. I'll see you some other time. Okay, follow me. This way is fastest. We'll have to take the elevator up to the secure transport agency. Right. I've been there. <laughs> been there, done that. Let's get the elevator. The elevator and uh, go on our way. And there we go. We're here. This guy, though. Hmm. Glad to tell you. Gaming, are you going to touch again? Hey, I slow down. I'm begging you. Why? What is it? No one's gonna try any funny business when the street is this packed, right?
Look at the chops there. Fujin's at work. <laughs> Alright, Gang, I'm slowing down. What do you want from me? Oh, well. Uh, how should I put it? Yeah. Do you see that group of people over there? Yeah. Those are my relatives. All of them? Wow. You sure have a big family. <laughs> wow. Once they start buying things, they won't stop perusing till it gets dark. Oh, this is bad. Oh, if that's your family then. Family, not your arch enemies. What's there to be afraid of? Unless. Oh, did you do something horrible to them? <laughs> no, it's not that. What is it then? I'm just not that good at dealing with my family. So you're good at dealing with people, best if we could not steer clear of them. How? Do you want me to I'll become invisible? when we have the chance, but right now we've got a job to do. But then uh, I guess we'll just have to sneak past them. How? I don't know. Is it the? Uh, Polo jamming and tr and trying to Let's go straight. Polo jamming and trying to avoid. Steady wins the race. Okay. Going to work, darling. Let's wait here for a second. Maybe my aunt will leave. Maybe. <laughs> How to sneak? <laughs> How to avoid contact with someone? <laughs> Stay behind the wall. <laughs> to avoid your relatives. Ah, jamming. Turn left, run! To the right and... <sighs> to the right and... We're here, right? They just... Right. <laughs> wow, you guys are good! I'm impressed. I mean, uh... Hey. You really liked it, huh? Ooh, you know what? I'll buy you a whole bunch and pile them so high you can swim in them. <laughs> as long as you don't wind up drowning, Paimon! <laughs> what the hell? Hey, Uncle Jirigoy. These are my friends, the Traveler and Paimon. They came to deliver some goods with me. So, I guess I'll go ahead and take these over to Uncle Yongzan then? Yes. Thanks for your hard work. I should thank you both for your trouble as well. Please take a seat and rest for a bit. I'll prepare some tea. Right. No need. We'll be off soon anyway. I mean, hey. Hey, we're right. already here, aren't we? No harm in taking a load off for a bit. Plus, I know the Secure Transport Agency has some great Songwa tea stash around here somewhere. I promise you, one sip and you'll be hooked. Yep. Anyway, you just sit down and relax, Uncle Jirgoy. Who would I be if I just sat here and let you go through all this trouble? Leave this to me. <laughs> I have to be up and about to drop these goods off anyway. What's well, a little extra time on my feet? Oh, you aren't too picky, right, Traveler? No, you know, I don't. Paimon prefers things on the sweeter side, so I won't steep the tea too long. And I'll add some dim sum pastries on the side. Aww. You notice what Paimon likes? <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm definitely going for Gami. How long have you two known Gami? Uh, since. Uh, yeah. Oh, not long at all. He yeah. just kind of tagged along on his trip to Yuan Wharf. Yeah. He's just a super welcoming guy. We became friends. You know, yeah. just like mm -hmm. that. <laughs> That's just how he is. He's the attentive sort. Really knows how to look after his own. A while ago, one of our guards had to take off work. Said his joints were hurting due to the rain. 
Yeah. Doming personally went all the way to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get some medicine for him from Dr. Baiju, then traveled through the night to deliver it back to him. Well, that young man has such a good head on his shoulders. How can anyone not love him? I mean, there is his dad, but well, ask anyone else. And... Uncle Yongsan says he doesn't have the his personnel dad. to spare for this delivery right now. So what do you think, Uncle Jirigui? Should I go ahead and deliver it instead? Ah, feels like we've troubled you enough already. <laughs> Nonsense. It's kite making materials, though. It could be for a kid. I'm sure the sender wants it delivered before lantern ring. Yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, here, have some tea. Refreshing room and lingering if the aftertaste of the song loot tea. All right, then. Is it good enough to the taste? Ooh, are you free in two days? How about we grab some dim sum from Shinya Kiosk? My treat, and don't even think about trying to pay. What a guy. Don't mention it. Just think of this as a thank you for all your help. Besides, the thing between me and my family, it's a long story. It might take some time to tell. I guess I have, I mean, I have nothing but time. I, I mean, see you at January Chios, then, I suppose, Dramin. All right, then I'm off. See you in two days. Oh, and Paimon, make sure not to eat too much before then. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Is he underestimating Paimon? <laughs> She's just gonna have to show him how much she can really eat. <sighs> Look at the Paimon. <laughs> Is Domin's family situation really that complicated? Seems like it. He has such a happy-go-lucky personality. Plus, he's an enthusiastic and diligent worker. It's hard to imagine a guy like that being troubled by much. And so... How should I put it? Yeah. Since he already plans to tell you himself, you don't need an old man like me to add my two cents. Mm -hmm. You seem to be around the same age, so you might have a lot in common. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you could help him talk things through. Consider it a favor to me. Or I'll try. If you have the time, maybe you can make a little flag for us to wave about. It can say, we provide aid in Spain. Couldn't hurt to advertise our services, right? Well, I can certainly arrange that. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Wait, seriously? I'm almost just joking. <laughs> but if you're going to get us something, she'd much rather have winter melon cake instead. <laughs> Uh, seems like Gaming really has rubbed off on you. <laughs> Would you like some more tea? I think there's some left. No thanks. We came all this way and still haven't gotten a chance to look around the world. Are you kidding, Paimon? I just did all that. We should see the kinds of kites they got. Maybe they'll have oh. ones we oh. can't find in Liyue Harbor. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I mean, yeah, I was not there for Lantern Rights, so... All right, then. We're here. Right. Please do let me know if you'd like more tea. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. Well, thanks. Walk around a year-long wharf, but first I'm going to talk to you, Jean-Louis. I'm going to sit. And since I'm jean Lee, you won't have a hard time, do you? Garming oh. is a good kid. I just wish he could reconcile with his family. Yeah. You're around the same age, so he might listen to you. Please talk things through with him. Yeah, like I said, uh, sure do we? I'll, uh, I'll try. I'll try. And yeah, um, before I, before I move about, uh, I did this thing here. Uh, just have to have spring a step, and, uh, everything should be, uh, should be good. You don't have to jump, just walk. Notch. Can I say? Doesn't compare, obviously, to the music of uh, Chow and Village, but it's quite good nonetheless. And now I don't have to. Don't miss out on our lantern right promotion. Oh. Only the best tea sourced directly from Chow Yang Village. May I recommend the Songlo variety? Buy three boxes, get 10% off. Buy four, get 20% off. Buy ten, and you get half off. What a bargain. Um, uh, I'm just going to get that. Should you get tea? Yeah. Oh. Hey! What are you doing here? 
What are you doing here? Huh. The way you speak. One might have presumed you were displeased to be in one's presence. <sighs> um. Shall I say greetings, John Yun, or greetings, Proud of Jainer? Yeah, I mean, which is why, yeah, they wanted me to do the story quest first, because, um. This is the first time seeing her in the game. But yeah. John Yun, uh, Pastrin Herald. Cloud Retainer, one of the mighty and illuminated Adepti, who has long lived atop Mount Alshan, now Lord Smonst mortals under the name Xian Yun. Xian Yun is passionate about culinary delicacies and delights in delving into mechanisms and engineering. Though she claims not to enjoy social interaction, she has extensive connections. Alas, it is rather unlikely that normal folk interacting with her would ever link this jocular and enthusiastic woman with the legendary adeptus who would marshal the winds to deliver the clouds. Take note, Paimon. You could learn a thing or two about how to respect your elders. <laughs> Ugh, starting on the elder stuff already, huh? <laughs> Shouldn't you be back in your cave tinkering away at some kite related thingamabob or something? What brings you out here? I want to find huge box next to you. Paimon gets it. You're here to do some shopping, aren't you? <laughs> and what of it? The Chishing's decision to integrate Fontanian technology into said kite flying competition is of no consequence to oneself. Did you expect one to willfully compete against the whimsical trends of worldly sentiment, or perhaps even fall <laughs> to petty sulking over such? I don't know. It's not that we think those things exactly. That's just what Mountain Shaper and Moon Carver told us, or Tia something and <laughs> oh. can't be bothered to and, remember uh, what their aliases were called. Hold on. Anyway, they went to Liyue Harbor to look for you. They even asked us to pass along their regards if we ran into you. Oh, huh. Huh. Yeah. Jin -yin? Yeah, Jin -yin. Huh. Did she forget about them? Oh, it appears time has quite flown since one's arrival in Liyue Harbor. How could one have forgotten about those two old fossils? <laughs> <sighs> one shall have to bring them back some divine herbs to atone for this slight. Nay, given that one has ventured all this way to Yilong Wharf, tea would be more advisable. A great thought has illuminated one's mind once again. One is reminded that certain purchases have yet to be made. Perhaps you two could wait here whilst one performs this task. It'll be but a moment. Huh? Wait here? You really just gonna ditch us here to watch your stuff? Oh, that woman really just does whatever she wants. She truly does. Uh, let me just see what she's up to. It's not my fault. Uh, just come back soon, okay? Paimon, Paimon doesn't want anyone to try and steal the stuff. Welcome. Please have a look around. We only sell teas of the finest quality, sourced directly from Chaoying Village. Might I recommend the Songlo variety? It's one of our specialties. Now, that sounds promising. <laughs> one will bring some back for those old fossils, and all will be well. Two boxes will do. Wonderful. By the way, we're actually running a special lantern ride promotion. Buy three boxes, get 10% off. Four boxes will net you 20% off. Hmm. 20% off four boxes. This merchant strikes a fair bargain. One might as well give some to Morax and Ping, too. Then four shall suffice. <laughs> hmm. I see. Are you intending to give these as gifts? If so, perhaps I could interest you in these exquisite gift sets. Buy ten, get half off. Look at the magnificent design. And the red ribbon gives quite the festive flair, don't you think? Such a gift would be sure to impress any lucky friend or family member. Oh my god. Mm, ten boxes. Seems rather excessive. <laughs> what what that is the contradictions and one's disciples. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, Sean, yeah. Ten! Nice round number, don't you think? 
course you do. I'll even shave a little extra off the price for you. Uh, that is agreeable. One will, um, I will have these boxed up then. <laughs> what? Of course, of course, right away. <laughs> I see you have quite the eye for fine items, mademoiselle. Oh my Perhaps god. Perhaps some of my wares might also be of interest to you. She's going to purchase everything. <laughs> I'm a toy merchant oh, from no. Fontaine. You'll get nothing Chabonnier. but the finest and most intricate clockwork toys Mora can buy here. <laughs> Each one sure to be a source of endless amusement. Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps you could enlighten me then. When should said amusement be derived? Well, uh, that is, of course, best understood by playing with them yourself. If you could wait just a moment, I can bring one out and give you a demonstration. <laughs> yeah, you are being watched. It, there is no need for that. Uh, mademoiselle. Give me your newest and finest model, and be sure to package it securely. Ah, oh, of course. Here you go. <laughs> the instruction manual is... I can do without. Thank you. Oh, many watchful eyes surround this place. If one were to be spotted purchasing a mechanical toy such as this, uh -huh. the child's plaything, no less, would only invite scandal. There is no harm in bringing it back to study in secret. This job should be like, saying, like, what? What is she? What is she doing? Um, okay then. Should have bed before Shanyu notices. Nice transition. Oh, Shenyun, did your shopping go smoothly? <sighs> Naturally, one may not delight in social interactions, but that does not mean one lacks said faculties. Yeah. Seems like Johnny is elusively swayed to buy things. That box looks fit to burst already. And you too? Are you not here to purchase things? We uh, just haven't had time yet. It doesn't look like there are any kite stalls around Elong Wharf. But it does look like there are lots of goods from Fontaine. You are also planning to participate in the kite flying competition then? So, yeah, okay, so that means she's, <laughs> she's also part of the competition, it seems. <coughs> One means to say, you along with all the other youths. Yes. One has been entreated to share one's kite-making expertise. And indeed, there was little one could do about such persistent supplication. One moment energetic and earnest, and dejected the next. Wow. One had no choice but to acquiesce to these requests. And thus, one will be organizing a kite-making workshop to provide personal instruction in this art form. Oh, who will be participating then? Uh, Ganyu? Shenhe, Ganyu, and Yaya. Sh sh wow, that's so quite a Who is Shu? Uh, so this is all pretty well, Shenyun, but it's not like you have to make your own kite to participate in the competition. You can't just buy one ready-made and call it a day. Huh. You the speak those equipped with the mechanical lifting device, do you not? <sighs> it is nothing but a crude piece of mortal machinery. <laughs> The mechanism that one has developed was the fruit of millennia, of meticulous study. Let us not speak of the source of the mechanism's power, but rather its structure. It is composed of materials as light as bamboo and as strong as iron. This composition grants it the lightness of weight to ascend into the sky and the durability to follow the wind for many a mile. It is built with a series of intersecting rods that... <laughs> yeah, you seem like uh, you're going on a tangent. Mind. It is unlikely the two of you will understand, even should one expend the effort to explain. One is better off saving one's breath. You sure? It sure seems like you want to talk about it, though. Yeah. So, will you be attending the workshop or not? We will. Huh? Wait, you've been trying to invite us this entire... Uh, well, Jeannian, or Cloud Retainer, seems interesting. All right then. No need to prepare the materials in any case. One has it all sorted. Great. Arrive at Mount Alson in two days. 
today. I shall be expecting you around midday. But are oh, oh, we? Don't you want a guide to help you with that big box of yours? Don't you worry. <laughs> Surely you jest. One goes as one pleases. For what reason would one need to rely on another? <laughs> calls it the floating toting device floating toting device <laughs> she seems pretty proud of that one yeah she does look at her walk down the street she seems so confident but everyone around her is looking at her all funny i don't wonder uh never mind but anyway that box of hers seems to be full of those mechanical lifty panama bobs panama bobs <laughs> My mom was peeking or anything. She just, uh, got a bit unsteady for a second and accidentally brushed the embroidery on top. Oh and my god. you know it, all the stuff inside almost came bursting out. My mom even went out of her way to keep it all together. <sighs> what, will, what will I do about you, Paimon? All Paimon say is that Xianyun sure does try hard to save face. What did she call it again? A crude piece of mortal machinery? I'm not bet she just can't wait to take it apart and see how it's made. That does sound like something she would do. Totally. We should probably act like we didn't see anything, though. You know, in consideration of her feelings and all. After all, that is the propriety with which one should comport oneself. <laughs> when it comes to an elder, right? The sass, I'm on the sass. Okay, so part one is officially completed. So I guess the last mini game is uh, is uh, related to uh, Cloud Retainer's workshop. It seems. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember, but where are those who share the memory? <laughs> <laughs> 